So guess what? In my country it's finally spring. This means that in spring many of my cocoons and pupa of overwintering month, uh, moths are hatching. This means that in the coming months I'm absolutely going to spam all my viewers with a lot of insect videos. And here we see a species that has just emerged. And it originates from North America. Actually I should say North and Central America. It's a silk moth from the Saturnidae family. Called the Doris pine moth. A.k.a. Coloradia Doris. And as the name implies, the Doris pine moth, uh, Coloradia Doris, their caterpillars only feed on pine tree, aka trees in the genus Pinus. Their favorite kind of pine tree is Pinus ponderosa, also known as ponderosa pine tree. And they are found in uh, Wyoming, in Utah, in Arizona. And I'm not sure, uh, I think there are also some other states. Uh, I think they're actually also found in Mexico, like actual Mexico, not New Mexico, and really just otherwise a large part of North America. Oh yeah, in Colorado too, I believe. Um, I'm here in Europe, I'm trying to breed them in captivity because I like to study insects. Either way, uh, Coloradia doris, uh, well, they feed on ponderosa pine, but also other kinds of pine tree, even kinds of pine tree that are not native to North America. Mainly everything in genus Pinus is accepted, like uh, Pinus sylvestris, Pinus nigra, Pinus strobus, all these crazy sorts of pine trees. Uh, these moths they hatch in spring, so actually kind of like right now, it's spring right now, and these guys just popped out. Um, after hatching they live for a short while only to pair and lay eggs with a female. Uh, the eggs are laid usually on the pine needles, at the base of pine needles. And uh, the eggs will hatch the same year. And the larvae will feed on pine tree uh, until they're fully grown. Usually they live in groups but the adults, uh, mature caterpillars, they become solitary. After that they pupate and the pupa they take one year to hatch the following spring because they overwinter as pupa. Uh, to some, to some uh, these Coloradia species may be considered as pests because they can be very abundant in some years. Although I don't really regard them as pests. I mean, of course, pest is really just a relative term. But uh, I think they're not that, not, hard, not that harmful, to be honest. It's a kind of frantic species, as you can see it's stressed out right now and probably will refuse to move, uh, to s refuse to settle down, sorry. Because once, they, once they're stressed they'll just keep walking for hours and hours. Uh, their abdomen is striped, which is nice to see. It's also a warning to predators. If they're threatened they can curl up into a ball and show their yellow and uh, black and white striped abdomen and red underside of their hind wings. I'll show you a picture of the thread pose. Oh, that's how they can curl up. And here's just, well, it's just a beauty from, uh, from North America, so enjoy. Coloradia doris is the first one that hatched this year. It's actually the first time I, I'm, I can observe this species. Uh, I've never seen one before, but I'm gonna try and raise them and I hope I'll have a female that will hatch very soon. Isn't it a cutie? Well, thanks for watching everybody. I'm gonna go back and bring this one inside now. I think I disturbed it enough. Uh, with some luck I will have a pairing and we'll be able to breed them this year. With some luck that is, so wish me luck. Thank you for watching and goodbye.